Hi friends, it's Ellison. Welcome back to AJ's Inspired Life. Welcome back to Junk Journal July. This is part two of putting my journal together. So if you haven't watched part one, I went ahead and picked out papers. I've done a little bit of work without you, so I'm going to show you where I'm at. This is the cover that uh, we decided on. Uh, it, this is a paper bag and I, I don't know what's going on, you guys. I don't know, but I have chosen a format that I have never done before and I'm, I'm already excited about it. I am. I am loving this journal. I am in love with it. Now I had this, um, master board, if you will, left over from scraps that I had done it. Um, this, it was one piece and I cut it and I put it on my journal and then I flipped it for you on Instagram and a couple of you, um, said oh, we like this side so we're going to go with this side as the cover which is fine uh i i i like them both um i like them both and i yeah we're i'm here for it so i appreciate i appreciate your input uh so what do we have we have a paper bag now i do want to show you inside my paper bag i cut up a piece of a plastic um amazon envelope this was actually in the contention a uh, top contender, if you will, for the actual journal itself with the bubble wrap on stuff on it, right? Uh, I went ahead because I wanted a little bit more um, structure to it, but not, it's actually a little bit stiffer than I would like. If I had like quilt bunting or whatever you call that stuff, I would have stuffed that in there, but I didn't have any. So I just had plastic, this packaging, um, I could have even like taken off the paper and maybe just put the bubble wrap in. I don't know, but it's, it's lovely. It's fine. I went ahead and, um, dropped some glue in there. So it is stuck in there. We will figure out how we're going to like close this. I'm not going to leave it open, but I did want to show you that I've done that on the front as well as the back. Well, because I didn't know which one was going to be which and right uh, it's one big bag. So I slid one piece in here and then I have one piece here. And then I did add a piece of masking tape right down this middle because, uh, I just wanted to, you know, strengthen, strengthen this just, just a little bit. Okay. So that's where we're at. I did go ahead and fold my papers. Um, and I made two signatures. This is a concern. What is this? <laughs> Oh, I know what that is. Okay. So I've made two signatures and we're going to put them in. And I'm going to try, I'm going to try a new, um, binding. Okay. So let's, um, let's get, let's get a binding on here. Let me, um, Let me measure out where I want some holes. Okay. I'm going to take, I'm going to take a strip of paper, the length of my journal. Now this is actually a little bit more important this month than others. For me, I am going to put two signatures in here and my papers are not all the same size. So I'm going to do what I always do. I take a strip of paper, the length of my journal, you don't have to do this. You could simply poke some holes in there. Okay. So, and I'm going to one here. It doesn't matter. I'm going to mark the middle. I'm going to fold the end up to the middle. And then where that fold is, I'm going to fold it in again to meet that end. Okay. And this is where I'm going to put my mark. So again, we're going to take the end to the middle, fold it, and then take the end to that fold. And that again is where we're going to leave our mark. Okay. So we're going to put a T at the top. Why? Because it matters. And we will flip this thing around and around. And I, I will uh, have it backwards before we know it. Okay. So I'm going to take um, this and line it up here. And I'm just going to mark this book. Now I am doing it with erasable pen. I honestly don't think it matters. Okay. Because for me, the signatures get covered up and everything else. Okay. So 
I mean, if you had a little pin mark there, I guess it doesn't matter. I am using my giant crocodile, crocodile two. Uh, it is listed below in my Amazon links. Um, okay. I say this every time. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. This is the crocodile two. I have both. This one has the longer arm reach here so you can get to the middle of things. Okay. So it also sits on a desk. So it uses the mechanics and, um, like it takes less grip strength. Okay. Because you're pushing against the desk. Okay. I'm going to move this to, um, a hole punch. So it does eyelets and hole punches and it has two hole punches. I'm moving it to this bigger one because that's the size of my eyelets. You can see it come down right there. Okay. So I'm going to go in and I'm just going to put it like in the middle of each of these right here. This is the non-scientific um, part of, you know, journaling, and I am not an expert by any means. So there are very, very fine journal makers out there. Um, okay, so I'm just, and I know what T, I know what the top is, but we're gonna, we're gonna put a T at the top anyway, just so, because I put this pocket down here, I also know this is the front. All right, but make sure you mark it somehow so you don't, because we do move it around a little bit and we get easily kind of turned around. Well, I don't know about we, I, I. Okay, so here is the journal. Okay, now I picked out some eyelets that I spent like entirely too much time figuring out what colors I wanted and shapes because I wanted all different ones and blah, blah, blah. And I think I already screwed them up. So is that what I want? I don't think it is. What did I decide? Mm, all right. I think it is what I decided because I don't want a flower with a flower. You know what? Nobody cares. <laughs> Just get it done. Uh, these are old. Okay. So I'm going to move this all the way up to eyelet now. Uh, these are old eyelets that came with my original crocodile. Okay. And <laughs> I mean, literally years ago, years and years and years and years ago. So we might as well use them up. And Junk Journal July is the perfect time to mismatch and have fun. Oh, look at that. I totally messed them up. It's okay. We're just going to, whatever one this is, we're going to put it right there. All right. And we're going to, look at that. How stinking cute is that? Um, what did we decide? I don't know what we decided we'll do. See, so I struggle with like what goes with what. Um, because I don't really like the orange. Well, I don't like the orange to begin with. I know I do like the orange, but I don't like it with this because the rest of this is kind of pastel -y. Actually, I think I like that better. Mm, okay, we're going to end up doing it this way. I don't think that's how I had it. And that's all right. Okay, so let's get those all set in there. Okay. So there is the holes. Okay. Now, um, we're going to do the same thing. Well, not the eyelets. We're not going to do the same thing. We are going to do these. Now, I know that this is the top because it has this rough edge. Okay. So otherwise you would mark it again. 
It doesn't hurt to mark stuff, friends. Just mark it up. Mark it up. Now, this is interesting. I'm grabbing clips because, well, we're going to need them. Okay. We're going to settle this. Now, I don't want to settle it all to the bottom. Okay. I want to make sure things are like kind of in the middle because they're mismatched. Now, they're not crazy mismatched. I don't have too many really odd shaped things, but I do. This is a good example. Okay. Okay. So I don't want it all settled to the bottom. I want this in the middle. So this is a perfect example. All right. So once we can kind of figure that out, I think we're kind of good. Then we're going to get this clipped. Okay. And you, I need a few because it, it has some odd shapes in it again. And we want it to hold. Okay. And then, you know, make sure it's in there. Okay. This is not too bad because it's thinner paper with their very, very thick paper. We struggle a little bit with paper moving. Where's my magic marker thing? Here it is. And my erasable pen. Okay. T at the top. This is my top, so I'm going to line it up again. Okay, now see, this is a very good example. This top hole, which is going to go right there, is not going to catch this middle paper. It's barely going to catch, I mean, this bottom. So this is a great example of why uh, now, which is interesting too, because I'm going to try a new way of binding. So I don't even know if it's going to work. Um, I'm going to put this on. I don't know if I need the bigger hole. I'm, I'm wondering if the smaller hole, I'm going to try the smaller hole. Um... I don't know if that's big enough. Um, I think it's going to be fine. Let's get that done that way. Okay. So there's our three holes. All right. We're going to do, I'm going to put that off to the side and we're going to do the same thing with the second signature. So here's my second signature. I'm going to, so this one you can see has a little bit different. This one's very small in the middle. See that? So I want to make sure it's in the middle. Again, not lined up all the way down here. You can line everything up down on the bottom. That's completely fine. I just want it to be in the middle. Okay. So if I can kind of center things like that, um, this paper clip's not going to catch that and I'm not even too sure. Okay. That big one's barely going to catch it and it will catch it with these. All right. So let's turn it around and see if, yep. Okay. Okay. Again, we're going to make sure things are in that crease. I'm going to push it flat to mark it. Okay, so you can see even from my marking, so this, this steno steno paper is not centered. How do I know that? Well, because I only caught it with two of the holes. See how I definitely catch it at the top and I'm not catching it at the bottom and that's okay. I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm not going to fuss with this. Okay. I'm just going to,
and this one's all the way down here now we could have moved these holes in tighter okay that would have been a completely okay option um, which I obviously just chose not to do so if you were going to do that you wouldn't do that second fold right on the little marking you would just do the first one okay so here is I can put away these clips I thought I might use more than I did so hopefully that wasn't uh, an error in judgment okay this is my little book binding kit again linked below in the Amazon links you don't have to buy it off my Amazon links but that will give you an idea um, do you need it absolutely not but it has an awl it has thread it has all this stuff now what do I use we're not going to use the awl because I use the paper punch what do I use I use this needle right here this is what I'm using it for. And I'm not even too sure. Um, <laughs> I don't know, friends. We're about to see. We're about to see if this is going to work. You ever have ideas? And you're like, oh, yeah, that's going to be great. Okay. I have this, like, leather. It's not leather. What do you call this? Pleather string. I don't know where I got it. Obviously, the thrift store. Uh, own some haul or so I mean I have this piece I don't know if you, some of you some of you will remember and you're like oh yeah you got it with this and you're like so good it's too thick for what I want so I started cutting it I know I know can you imagine okay so we're gonna do this and we're gonna just keep hand cutting this until I have enough how much is enough you ask no idea uh, let's see because I want to try a new binding ironically I was going to try a new binding I think on June gosh it may have even been May at this point and I <laughs> I got to talking and I got to punching and doing whatever and I was like oh I totally totally bound it like I always do um, and so this month I had a different idea and so I want to try it. So uh, let's see. I just, I just want to give myself extra because, oh, that's plenty because <laughs> I'm making two. Okay. So I, I just, I cut it in half. I mean, I, you know, cut it in half this way because it's just too fat. It's just, it's just too fat. And I don't even know if this is going to work in here. And if it doesn't work in here, then, then we're going to have like a whole nother issue. So you guys did not see that. Um, I put it in my mouth and flattened it to get it through that needle. Uh-huh. There you go. Okay. Okay. I'm super excited about this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here's my journal. This is the front. Here's my journal. This is number two. This is number one. Signature number one. Signature number two. Now, I'm not saying I made this up. I'm just saying I had a vision you know, as you do. Um, I have to think. Oh, it's not. See, I don't understand. Okay, it's not going to work. Hold on. Hmm. That's not going to work. Why is it not going to work? Because this hole doesn't connect to this hole. And you have to go through it. Okay, let me show you what I had envisioned, and now I'm sad. I mean, you don't need the needle to do this. The holes are bigger. I just thought to get through the thing. Okay, what I wanted was three little ties this way, right? 
like one little tie and then two little ties, three little ties this way. How do I get that? Journal math and all that stuff. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't know. I am not uh, in a position to be making like 12 videos on how to make my junk journal July. I got to get going on this. So, um, hmm. What I wanted was, yeah, okay, so that hole's tight, that, but that's all right. Okay, so what I wanted was a tail here and a tail here. Well, the only way to get that is let's try it this way and I mean, do we need the middle hole? We could do two strings, yeah? Sure, why not? All right, bear with me. All right, if we do this, Um, I really want these to tie this way. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, I'm going to do that. And I just flatten that down again with my teeth. And it goes through like that. All right. And this is one. Hmm. All right, this is two. Let's start from the outside. We're gonna do a fake one in the middle, I think. Pull that through and push it out the bottom. This could be a horrific. <laughs> you see what already happened? I already lost the signature one. Okay. Signature two. Signature one. It's okay. Okay. So if we tie it in this way, it's 
very loose. It's very loose. Um, because your signatures are each tied on individually this way, they're not linked together normally, right? Oh, you guys. I mean, like, the vision of, like, how it looks is in my brain, but I don't know how to execute it. And I'm sure some of you do. So, just trying to channel you. <laughs> um, if I come through the outside and in the middle, I mean, we could tie a knot, but we it wouldn't. Hmm. I don't know, friends. I don't know. Welcome to Allison not knowing what she's doing. Okay. I'm going to cut another piece because I just want to play. And maybe, no, that still wouldn't work, would it? Well... Okay. I mean, I know you all get the vision. Because look how stinking cute that would be. Like tied in little bows. I mean, it's adorable. It's a cute vision, Allison. Nice job. Um, however, well, I am wondering... I mean, what if we just put a knot here? I mean, my journal's so fat anyway. Right? Or, like, how else could we secure it? Like, literally, what if I just tied it on here? Because sometimes we have fun dangles in the middle anyway. What if I just did something fun like that? That's totally going to work. That's amazing, Allison. Yep, that's going to do the trick. I just got to start tying these in because they're jumping out of my journal. All right. All right, there is, yep, that's going to work. Okay, so let's, oh, that's totally going to work. We're going to tie it. One, two, I think two is plenty. Well, Two's not a good number in crafting. Let's do three. Oh my goodness, you're so stinking cute. Okay. Uh, I'm pulling on these as if they're tied together. They're not tied together. So pulling on them is not going to do any good. This one is tied in the middle. So we can pull that through. That's fine with me. Normally, yeah, it's fine. It's all amazingly fine. Here we go. Mm, come on, little guy, you can do it. I'm sure if you had tweezers or something else, that would be a better way to do it. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tie him on here. And I actually like, like that there's a little tail, so that's fine. We're going to string that through. Oh. Heck to the yeah. Okay, we'll put the needle away. 
We'll put our kit away. This was actually one of the things I was thinking about covering my little box with. <laughs> I say that every time I get it out, the poor little box I've never. Okay, let's do this. Let's take off all these tap these clips. Look how loose this is. That's why I want to make sure it's in here. All right. So my idea was that they would be tied together, but they're actually not. So this signature, I mean, so as I pull on this thread or, you know, leather thing, it's, it's pulling taut up here. So that's what I want. This one's, yep, same thing. And then we'll tie it this way. And it does stretch a little bit, so I'm, I am pulling taut. Woo! So taut that I'm breaking it, but that's okay. That's, I was going to maybe cut them kind of like this. Now this one is actually tied. And I'm pulling it tight. You can see it pulling on that bag. Mmm. Is that longer than I wanted? That knot's better than that. Um, I think I already love it. Let's double check it, okay? Let's see. Oh, <laughs> Okay, that's, that's stinking cute. That's cute. Okay, so here are our pages and I have not, um, there's our T at the top so we can erase that guy now. This stuff, you know, I'll save obviously for ephemera and tags or whatnot, but Here's one, two, three, and I'm, I've marked them three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now, this is the middle of my book. Sometimes I don't use this page and I just leave them blank or decorate it or do whatever. This month I'm using it. So you can see I've marked it 16 and 16 here to remind me that this is an actual page. If we want to add something, when I do this, um, when I use this as a page, if there's that gap, I mean, gaps are easy to fill, obviously, but, you know, we could put something across the whole thing that's big. We could put something um, that's, like a strip here, a giant piece of tape or magazine or anything like that if you don't like this, okay? 16, 17, 18, 19. Now 19 is this little pocket page. So you see I caught it in two of the holes here. 20. I just slid a card in here to make sure that I remember that's an actual page. 21. 22. This is 23 and it has this little one as a page. This is 24, but it has a flip out or flip up rather. Obviously we can always add more. So that's 24. I might even cut more of this just so we're not working around this all the time. 25. 
26. This was a giant packaging envelope. I cut off the top. I taped it to make this. Okay, 26, 27, 28. Here's the other side of that envelope. 29, 30, and 31. I love it. Okay, here is uh, the back of my journal, obviously. Uh, I need to decide how to put a calendar in. And so I was messing around with this piece of paper a little bit. Um, this does not work for a calendar for me. This is like incredibly small for a monthly view. So I was just kind of messing around and I don't, I'm not too sure yet, but I might make my calendar on this whole piece of paper. And I might actually fold it in this way and let it flip up. That's kind of where my head is going with that. So that's why that was in um, the end of the book. So you guys, okay, we did it. My little, my little vision um, came, came to be, but it, it was a little painful, I know, and I appreciate I appreciate you being here and helping me uh, figure it out. Now it's a little well, it's not loose. It's okay. It's okay. Some of these are a little big. I could still trim. They're a little bit wider than the actual bag, but I'm not too sure I care. I really like it so far. I may also cut down some of these edges or fold them in. These are easily fold in pages, okay? Two, um, you can see they're sticking out. The back is a little bit shorter than the front. Do you see that there? And I still need to decide on um, a closure. Now, I can tell you I would like to put an eyelet right here and also have a tie right here and have a tie. Okay, so that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna seal this up first to make sure that it's kinda, okay. And then we might, I might have to cut down the pages a little bit. So I have, but I really like these rough edges. So, um, so we'll see, you know, I may just end up folding them in which is an easy, an easy fix. They're just not, mm, I don't want like a little tiny fold, I don't think. So I might, I might do some cutting and I might do a couple other things, okay? But I'm probably gonna put an eyelet here kind of to match this look with some of this right here on the edge. And that will be it. And then I will always do my title. It comes to me throughout the month. I don't do it in the beginning, okay? You guys, that's it. We're up and running. We're up and running. We have a junk journal for July. So I will tag Meg um, down below. She's the one that puts this on. Um, I'm not affiliated with it, obviously, or anything like that. Um, and every day there's a new prompt. Today, this is July 1st right here for me. And the prompt is Spark. Get out of town. How do you not do what I want to do? You know what I want to do. <sighs> I got to look. I got to look for other options because I I I have a go-to that I'm just like, yes, we're going to do that. But then I'm like, slow your roll and let's find, let's look at some options. Now, I also have my own challenge of the month going on and I can't find my little thing right now, but I have an item of the month challenge and the item of the month is stickers. So that's the first thing I'm going to start going through is like foraging through all my stickers and pulling some. I have made a little pocket here. I am traveling for a part of the month. So I will be packing like a little pouch. Um, we have to go through our capsule and get that ready. Okay, you can see right here I already have this. Um, it will go on uh, this day right here, right? It'll probably, you know, go something like that. So I'm going to start playing. I'll bring you along as I journal our days. Okay, you guys, thanks for hanging out, friends. I'm super glad you're here. Um, let me know. Let me know what you think. Yeah. <laughs> and let me know if you actually know a way to do what I kind of faked doing here. But um, I absolutely love it. It is exactly what I had envisioned. So 
Thanks for hanging out, guys. I hope you're having a great day. Let me know if you're participating in Junk Journal July and let me know if you are participating in my challenge, the item of the month, um, because we want to use our stash. So please, um, please let me know in the comments because I would love to come check out what you're doing or just hear about it. I'd love to hear that. Okay. Thanks for being here, friends. I hope you have a great day and I hope you find something today that inspires you.